Welcome to another episode of Two Old Guys Going to the Vintage Film Channel. <laughs> How you doing, Don? What are we going to see today? Hey, here we are in the balcony reviewing another product. I don't know what you call it. Grace, uh, who runs and created the Vintage Film Channel, has so many movies and old TV shows. And and by the way, documentaries and all kinds of old films, mm. uh, training films, which are fascinating, that it's hard to say that it's only movies or it's only TV. Right. So what Art and I have been doing every week is kind of jumping around the product line in, at the Vintage Film Channel and picking something we thought was interesting. Right. This year, uh, pardon me, this week, we picked a film noir, a real B-movie film noir <laughs> uh, of a... called, called Apology for Murder. Right. And Art, you you recognize that it was a blatant ripoff. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was double trouble because it was done right after a very successful movie called Double Indemnity. Uh, but uh, uh, you actually did more research on this than I did. Uh, this was based on a real um, um, uh, I, uh, uh, murder that happened. Well, that's that's yeah, that's what I read. That that it was a real, I guess, a real murder made the headlines, made the newspapers. Right. Somebody wrote a book, and the book was made into Double Indemnity with yeah. uh, uh, Fred McMurray and Barbara Stanwyck. Became a big hit. In 1944, a year later, a small studio created this movie based on the newspaper accounts. All right. So it's the same story, eh, slightly different, right? But the same story. And of course, it's a B movie. Right. So who did they get? They got the queen of the B movies and a guy named, I call him Ward Cleaver, Hugh Beaumont. <laughs> yeah. That was, that to me, that was the most fun thing was seeing. Uh, leave it to Beaver's dad uh, as yeah. uh, this heavy, this bad guy. Yeah. So it turns out, uh, as I did a little research, it turns out he was a very popular actor. Uh, he did a whole bunch of stuff. Here he is arriving at uh, at his boss's house or something like that, where he meets the girl with the gams. They're, they're, she, there she is right. in the chair. Um, and she's so played by, oh, by the way, that's played by Ann Savage, who was the Barbara Stanwyck uh, role. And this is the guy yeah. who's eventually going to get murdered. Yeah. He's the husband. Right. Yeah. So, and here's, and this guy's a reporter. So uh, the Fred McMurray role, if you will, Hugh, Hugh Beaumont's a reporter and he's coming really to get a quote from the, the big guy behind the desk. Mm -hmm. And as he meets the big guy, his wife makes eyes at him at the reporter. So they they kind of hit it off right of in the beginning, and the and the uh, wife makes it clear that uh, she's really not in love with the the her husband. She'd really like it if somebody would get rid of him. Yeah, because because she's going to be he she understands that he's going to divorce her and cut her out. So that's, yeah, that's really yeah. good. And, and what happens here is he actually meets the wife by meeting her legs. Uh, first, because uh, I think that's what it there. There you go. Yeah. So yeah. great look. Yeah. But you know, there's Hugh Bowman. I'm telling you, this guy is Ward Cleaver to me. I I can't find him as a bad guy. <laughs> but eventually, of course. Well, also, wait, to... Fred McMurray on the same thing was my three sons, right? Wasn't he the father of, of the my three sons? So see, but but I remember seeing Fred McMurray in, in lots of films growing up. I, oh yeah. This is the first one I've ever. But the only one I've ever seen with Hugh Bowman, which was such a, why it was such a kick for me. Right, right. Well, let's, Fred McMurray was a, and ba Barbara Stanwyck were big stars right. compared to Ann Savage and Hugh Bowman. Um, by, but, the, by the way, even though it was a definitely a B movie, and the special effects we'll, we'll get into in a little while, uh, if you could even call them one, were so crude uh, that yeah. uh, they were laughable. But it was fun to watch how they made a actually a, a fairly decent film on an ultra ultra low budget sure sure do me a favor art yeah. fast forward to about five minutes okay uh, here yeah right here yeah. he's this is him hugh beaumont in the newspaper office he's a newspaper man right. and that of course gives him the opportunity to be uh, both a tough guy and a lover and a, a whole bunch of other stuff um 
A anyway, the acting's pretty good, I think. Yeah, I agree. And um, the story's pretty much the same as Double Indemnity. There are some minor, uh, minor differences. Mm. But really, the, the difference is the production. Yeah. This was a B-movie studio with a low budget, you know. Um, jump forward to 1105. Let's see if I can find it here. Yeah. Yeah. This is where, uh, this is the, I think it's the first scene where they kiss or something. But they become lovers pretty quickly. And, of course, that leads to her. Uh, mm. She's not a very nice lady. She she talks this this poor, poor, uh, manipulated uh, uh, reporter into killing her husband. And, uh, oh, yeah, there it is. That's the kiss. Yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> it's as good as it gets on uh, Hallmark Channel, maybe a little bit racier. <laughs> um, you know, the interesting thing about this is there is, <laughs> it was such a low budget that when it came time to kill the guy, you see them, I don't know what, uh, beat him up or something, but you never see the body. You mm. never see the guy. <laughs> so it's it's like watching me go, boom, boom, boom. I stabbed him, and then I go, oh, my God, I killed him. You know, it's, they couldn't afford blood, I guess. I don't know, right. I don't know what it was. Yeah, and they, they couldn't the afford car. blood even in black and white. And also, there's a, a, a coming a little bit later, I don't think we're going to cut to it, but uh, there's a uh, where uh, he's feeling some regret and uh, and then he's missing her, and uh, he's in a room alone and looking at a yeah. chair, and then all of a sudden she materializes in the chair with such a uh, a, a, a low budget uh, fade yeah. in to her on the same chair. Uh, yeah. So as yeah. as a as a, having uh, made uh, movies myself, uh, I've done actually special effects a little handmade camera uh, uh, home cameras <laughs> that were better than that. But back in the day, <laughs> that was a fairly decent alternative. So if you if you also make movies or just appreciate movies, you'll appreciate some of yeah. the really, really uh, uh, silly uh, effects, if they can be called that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, jump forward to 2724. She, uh, she, she is pretty, though. She really this is out. after the murder. She's yeah. playing the grieving widow uh, <laughs> for, for the cops, right? Yeah. And... Uh, and there's, is that Hugh Beaumont? Yeah, here he comes in as a reporter, as if nothing's ever happened, right. of course. Trying to gather uh, the story. Was oh, this our story here? Uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway, it's, you know, the basic story is so good that even though this is kind of a ripoff, um, this is closer to the what the actual newspaper reporters mm -hmm. uh, reports uh, describe the crime. But it's still a pretty interesting little movie. Go forward to um, oh twenty nine twenty one, and this is the newspaper. They frame together. They frame an innocent man. Uh, we we all know this from the uh, uh, from the other movie. You can hit play on this and see where this goes. But uh, if you remember, uh, and of course there they are plotting again. Right. But here's where it starts to get into the real noir. You can see the lighting and um, and the and the cinematography. It's the, really the second half of the movie that has that fun look of film noir uh, that I love. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first half is, by comparison, you know, relatively bright and lit. Go to fifty one fifty six, and um, that's where it it gets dark. And uh, this is the classic from here on to the end where where uh, she double crosses him. Right. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, but also he, ha he has regrets about this guy going to be uh, put away for life or executed for a murder that they yeah. know he didn't commit. They thought he'd get yeah. off scot-free, but he didn't. And he's having uh, second thoughts and regrets about it. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a great little movie. You know, it's an hour and some and change. It, it's quite frankly, uh, when they made B movies, they didn't make them real long because that costs <laughs> more money. So it's it's fun to watch. It's almost the length of a. It's less than less than the length of a made for TV movie. And it's frankly. also it's also probably how uh, if uh, you're of a certain age and you're in our 
in our world of over 50s. Uh, that yeah. you may have seen this as a kid, either on TV, more likely than that, yeah. on TV. Uh, and if you're older than dirt, we're approaching dirt. But if you're older than dirt, then you may have actually seen it in the movies because you had <laughs> because you had a nickel to see that and a, a, a second attraction as well. So you yeah. went back in the day when it was live in theaters <laughs> in 1945. I don't think there are too many yeah. of you around. However, yeah. here's the important thing. You can go to Vintage Film Channel, either as the website, or in this particular case, it's on the YouTube channel, and see literally dozens and dozens of these unique films uh, yep. that will absolutely, there's got to be at least half of them are going to bring some kind of memories from when you were growing up. Yeah, yeah. A Apology for Murder, 1944. I can't tell you the name of the studio. Three letters, small studio. Mm -hmm. Um uh, starring Hugh Beaumont and um, Anne Savage. And Savage, and you know what? It's a fun B movie, but it is kind of a ripoff of the uh, famous movie from 1944, uh, Double Indemnity. Okay, but so enjoy. So John, John, shameless plug: if you go to Vintage Film Channel, or if you go to the Vintage Film Channel on the YouTube, please subscribe yep. to help encourage uh, Grace uh, to. Uh, continuing yes. making these available. And if you like our little two old guys in the loft making noise with our mouths about films that we saw or TV shows that we saw, <laughs> please subscribe to our channel as well. Yeah. We'll see you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.